A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol, or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, for God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm response is, Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Then I said, here I am, in the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I have not hidden your saying help from my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and of your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, As it is written of me in the scroll of the book, See, God, I have come to do your will, O God. When he said, You have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings, and burnt offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Then he added, See, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first in order to establish the second. And it is by God's will that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born of you will be holy. He will be called Son of God. 
and now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord, that it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we come together, virtually at least, on the great solemnity of the Incarnation of our Lord. This is a feast of the Church. The Church places are the same rank as the Sunday celebration. And so we had uh, a, a few extra uh, readings today uh, compared to our usual weekday liturgies. This is a very important celebration for the Church. It's particularly important to our own Diocese of Hamilton. Uh, our Lord in the Incarnation is the patron of our diocese, and so this uh, feast day of the Annunciation is special to us as well. And there are profound mysteries that are commemorated and that are celebrated in this feast day. The mystery, as I mentioned, of course, of the Incarnation, the mystery of the transcendent God humbling himself, emptying himself, as St. Paul said in one of his letters, to take on and assume our human nature, to become one of us, a great and profound mystery. But also for us, in our walk of faith, another mystery that perhaps might seem and feel a little bit closer to home, the mystery of Mary's yes to the angel. The mystery of her courage and of her trust in God and God's call. This could have been nothing that she was expecting. It would have opened before her a path which was unknown, a path whose completion she could not foresee. It called her forward into a state of being perhaps even an outcast, which she mentions. How can this be? How can I bear this child? since I am a virgin. All of this she accepted because of her great trust in God. Here am I, she says, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The mystery of Mary's trust, the mystery of Mary's faith. This is a mystery into which each of us is called on our own walk of faith. We are at this time walking through uncertain times. We're walking through a time whose completion, whose end, we cannot foresee specifically. We don't know the day or the hour that all of this will be over and life will return to what we think of as normal. So we too are in a state and called by God to trust and have faith in a time of uncertainty. So we can identify with Mary and know that Mary is with us and that we can turn to her, invoking her prayers in, and trusting in her presence with us as we walk this journey of faith along with her. And so on this great day, on this great celebration, we give thanks to the Lord for the great gift of Mary, the mother of God, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we turn to her and to him, seeking to be strengthened for our own walk, 